Hello guys, welcome to the service now world and today we'll see second video of scenario based interview questions in service now series. So let's go to the next slide and see the today's task. So the today's task is in incident form, can you check whether caller is VIP or not without using get reference method in client script or script include. So let me tell you how this uh, conversation got started. So firstly, they'll ask like, uh, what are the approach we can check whether the caller is VIP or not in incident form. So I just told like uh, there are two ways are there, like uh, we can use the get reference method and or we can write the script include and we can call that script include in the client script. So they are saying that uh, if you don't want to use both of them, then what are the other alternatives are available? So like that scenario they have given so today we'll see if we are not using the get reference method in client script or we are not calling and write a, like writing any script include so what are the ways are available so the thing is that in that case uh, we can write a display business rule so what is if you know the display business rule like a display business when I use when a request made to a server to display some server side record in the form then we are using the display business rule. So same concept we are using here like we'll write one business display business rule and using the and store the caller VIP value in the scratchpad variable and then we'll use that scratchpad variable in client script. To check that whether caller is VIP or not. So let's go to the instance and try to implement this task. So if you see here, we came to the instance now. So let's open the incident form first. So I'm just opening incident form. So let's open the record as well. So now the record is open, right? So I want to like, uh, I want to like uh, say, I want to show some message or alert message if the caller is VIP. So how we'll do that? So let's create one display business rule. So I'll just open one duplicate tab here. And there right click on configure, then go to the business rule. Then we click on new. So now here we'll give the name of our business rule. So like uh, what name we can give. So we'll give some name like uh, name we can give check. VIP caller. We'll check the advanced and here we'll select display and we'll keep the order as well. We we'll, for the time being we are not putting any filter condition. Let's go to the advanced. And here We'll write G underscore scratch pad. Scratch pad and dot VIP. So we'll create one. If you know like a scratch, a scratch pad variable we are using for storing uh, the data from the server side. So it's work like a, like a temporary storage you can see. And here like this time like current dot caller id dot vip so vip is the field which is already uh, available in the uh, sys user table so we'll make use of that and let's save it so once we store the if you like a vip value in our scratchpad variable so we'll use that scratchpad variable 
in client script so let me open one more duplicate tab and from here now we'll go to the client script So now the new client script form is open. So here, like we'll put the name, name as like check VIP caller. So here we'll select the type. So I'll select the type on load because I just want to show the message when the form is loading, whether the color is VIP or not. And here, I'll just write our code. So code is very simple. Like we will write if g underscore scratch pad dot vip equal to equal to true. Then we want to alert the message like caller is VIP else we want to populate the message caller is not VIP Yes. Let's save this. So now the client script and the business rule all are ready. And let's make this user as a VIP only. So I'm opening this user. And do we have VIP field on the form? So if you, it's not there. So I'll just go to the configure, we'll go to the form layout and I'll just uh, drag the VIP field in the form. If you see this slurs bucket is open. So I'm search the VIP. If you see this VIP field is there from a label side. So we just drag this VIP field from available to selected side and I'll just put uh, after active field perfect and let's save it. So if you see like after active field now VIP field also coming right. So we'll just check this VIP field and update it. So now over the caller David Miller is now VIP caller, right? So when we opening the form in like our incident form, so if the caller is VIP, it will alert message. As alert message what? Like caller is VIP. So let's opening an incident form. So let's open this one only. See? This coming caller is VIP, right? And let's check for the other where the caller is not VIP. So let's say take this one user as well. So it's survey user. If you see now it's coming as caller is not VIP. So this is the another approach we can use the display business rule as well for checking the caller is VIP or not, right? So let me summarize once what's the task is there. Like we have to check whether the color is VIP or not without using the get reference method in client script or we can't and we can't write the script include and call, call them in a client script. So this is that like third way by using the display business rule 
and using the scratch pad variable we can uh, check the college VIP or not so what we have done I have just created one display business rule here and I'll, in a scratch pad variable I have stored the VIP value in this, this scratch pad variable and I am using this scratch pad variable here in the client script all node client script like if the caller is checked means if the VIP is uh, true then it will alert a message caller is VIP if it's not checked then it will call us not VIP so like that we can do so if you have any doubt or if you have any feedback please write in the comment box and one more thing guys like I just want to tell you like uh, these all the questions which I am like covering in this series all are based upon my ex in interview experience so there might be possibly there might be some best answers also there so please write in the comment box that as well till that time thank you god bless you all